So we finally have LinkedIn video analytics for your personal profiles. Finally, the prayers of content creators on LinkedIn has been answered. So all we need to do is go onto your content on your profile. Head over to your posts. So we're just gonna show you one of the videos which I did yesterday. So here is a video. And as you can see at the bottom of the video, we have the view figure. So you have to click on video view. So this one doesn't work, but the one at the bottom, so the bar at the bottom. So as we know, a video view on LinkedIn means that somebody has watched the video for more than three seconds. So if we click onto here now, we can get our video analytics for our personal profiles. So here we are. So here is the date that the video was created. So mine was the May the 21st and the total duration of the video. Then you can see the caption which you had for the video. Then we have your engagement highlights. So your reactions is essentially the number of likes that your post received, the number of comments, and also the total number of shares. And if we click on this number, we can actually see the different people who shared the content. Now, as a quick tip, I would always go in and thank the people who shared your video because it encourages them to do it again in the future. And it's just obviously a nice thing to do. So when we go into video performance, we have three different blocks of data. So we now have the total minutes that the video was watched, including views less than three seconds, which is quite important, including sponsored and organic distribution. We also have the number of times the video was watched for more than three seconds. And then we have the number of unique people who watched this video for more than three seconds. And this data here, could include people who've gone back and watched the video. So this number is always gonna be larger and it's actually really interesting to know by looking at these two data points. So unfortunately, we're not actually given the average watch time for video content yet. Now I did think I could be quite clever and we could take this number uh, and divide it by this number. So essentially we could take the total number of unique people who've watched the video and then we could divide it by the total time in minutes the video has been watched. And that would give us the data for the average watch time that a person who typically clicks on the video watches for. But unfortunately, the key distinction here is that this figure here includes views less than three seconds. So for example, somebody could scroll through the video in their feed and they could watch the video for one second or two seconds and click off. So this data just shows us that even somebody watching the video for one second here and one second there, all of those seconds do add up into minutes. So here, this is 667 minutes lifetime minutes. So if we divide that by 60, we can actually get the hour figure. So we can see how long our videos are watched for an hour. Now, I think that data actually really hits home. The video content can be watched for a long period of time. So also as well, which is interesting with this one for less than three seconds, if your profile is optimized, so for example, if the content's optimized, so I've got the orange, which is my personal brand, and I'm clearly in the video, even if somebody did scroll past the video for a second or two, they still would have seen that I did a bit of content that day. That just shows, you know, you wanna brand up your content, you wanna brand up your profile, because anyone who just you know, even scrolls past your content, at the very least, they're gonna see your personal brand, being re that's gonna be reinforced, and they're gonna know that you are still creating content and showing up. So there is benefits to people watching the video for less than three seconds, but of course, we want people to watch the video for basically you know, the, the full duration. And perhaps that's why it's harder for LinkedIn to give us the data points for the average watch time. Does really a video being watched for less than three seconds count as a view? So they've opted here for the total duration and lifetime a video was watched for. So it's really interesting to have this data and in combination with LinkedIn's latest algorithm change, they've revealed that they do check dwell time more now to gauge the quality of content. And obviously with a video, if someone's clicked on a video and watched it for 30 seconds for a minute that person is staying on that content and that's signaling to LinkedIn that this person is dwelling on the content so they're staying on the platform staying on the platform to watch this video and that is a huge advantage for video compared to other bits of content so the last thing we do have here is the audience so you might have seen this sort of view before on our other bits of content so we can see the number of people from certain companies who viewed your video. You can also see the job titles. So I've got founders, salespeople, students. So this is really useful to kind of know one, who my audience are, and then two, what sort of audiences that I'm reaching are interested in my content. And then also locations as well. So it's really cool to see around the world who's viewing your content. Now at the bottom here, we typically do have a graph. And I'm wondering because this video was uploaded yesterday that perhaps I haven't got yet 24 hours of data. So let's jump into a different video and see what the graph looks like. So this is a different video and actually I'm also going to compare the two videos because now we have the video analytics. Between the two videos, they both had a similar amount of reactions. So if we look past the vanity metrics, it's actually really interesting to see that for this video, it did actually have significantly less total watch time. And this is just shows with the new data that we've got, we can make more suggestions and more inferences about why certain videos reach more people. And we can just have this extra level of a dimension for the data. So we can see, okay, let's look past likes and comments and actually see how long this video has been watched for. And if a video has significantly been watched for longer, we can see why, you know, did we catch the attention in the first three seconds? Was it just a more engaging video overall? And it's just really fueling our social media strategy and giving us more data to be more data driven. So the bottom here, we have the graphs. So as we would expect, 
when the video was released, that's when it got typically the most views. But also 24 hours later still had 43 minutes overall with the video being watched, which is a long time, that's nearly an hour. And we can just see uh, over time, the video is being seen less and less and being served to less people. And also people are logging in to LinkedIn and they might have seen it, but then after a while, there's just so much content in the feed that they're not seeing this content anymore. But still, five days later, it's really interesting to see that the content was still viewed for a total of 10 minutes, which is actually a long amount of time if you think about it. So guys, I really hope that's been useful for you and I'm sure you've got this feature too. So jump in, uh, let me know in the comments what sort of data points you're gonna be looking at. For me, I think it's important to kind of see how many people are going back to a video and watching it again. That's a really strong indication that they're enjoying the video. And the total minutes of lifetimes, I wanna kind of look at my own averages and kind of see why some videos are watched for longer than others. I'm really excited to see all the new features LinkedIn are dropping out. It's great to see LinkedIn video analytics for profiles. Let me know in the comments what other features you'd like to see from LinkedIn.